Bro, I am tired of videos like this, 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 talking like they know what they're talking about. They're just blabbering on, chit-chatting just to talk, just to get views. So I decided today, I'm going to tell you the real reason why Multiverse has had its downfall, died, and why I think it's going to make a comeback next year. Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom. Now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jetters done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. <clears throat> okay, before we can even start on why the multiverses die, we need to have the full story. I'm talking about beginning, middle, and end. One, we need to start at the beginning is what is multiverses, who is PFG, who even runs multiverses. Then go into, you know, the issues, then go into what happened, and then go into the final ending. You get it? All right, let's go with that. Now, what Multiverses is, is a 2v2 platform fighter of Warner Brothers characters of amazing and awesome content, as we know, as most of y'all call it, the Smash clone. Even though it's more of a Brawlhalla clone with its mechanics. But anyways, anyways. Play your first game is the actual devs of Multiverses, and a lot of people don't know that. Um, and only, not only that, they are actually an indie team, which is which means a very small team. I want to say there are about 12 to 13 members at the start and the development of the game. Three to four of them were coders, while the rest were just GFX artists. Even the CEO, Tony, you know, the main big person everyone knows, um, is a coder. And everyone just assumed, oh, Warner Brothers, they make the game. They have this big budget. They have everything. They have all these resources. This game should be perfect off it. No. It was actually a small team that gave Warner Brothers you know, a game plan like, hey, we should do this, and Warner Brothers accepted it, and they're the publishers of Multiverses. So, technically, Multiverses is a indie game. So yeah, let's finally get this through everyone's head. WB is not the devs for Multiverses. It is PFG, a small indie team. And don't get me wrong, these small indie teams aren't just newbies that are just like, hey, I just walked in. They are veteran um, developers from Riot Games and a whole bunch of other places, but they are new to the fighting scene. This is their first game on their own and they ju they're in a genre that they have never been in before so fast forward after all that development the game getting leaked oh my god uh hbox etc all that stuff now the day of the release now me being a play tester i will say that the game was way more it felt better in the tech test than when it actually released that what we have right now but we'll get into that later but yeah so it's the day of the release and i guess you know i'm guessing me and others that played the game early and people that are waiting for the game and even the devs you know they're like yeah this is gonna be a great year you know it's gonna be amazing we're all probably expecting what 10k 20k 30k people on you know pc probably a couple 50k 60k on console because you know console love free games so i'm pretty sure we all got shocked and spooked when you know pc went crazy nearly 156k those numbers were crazy i don't even think the dev team was expecting that and you gotta remember they're an indie team. Don't get me wrong, they definitely probably prepped up a decent amount as we saw with the content with characters almost every two weeks, which was crazy to even think about. You know, brand new game, small team, we're getting a character every two weeks. Like, what the hell are you even talking about, right? But even when things are good, they would not always be good. Obviously, one, servers were terrible as we all experienced. I mean, terrible. One barring, whatever. Oh. Whoa, 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 what? Two. Um, because of all that hype and excitement, now everyone thinks that it's a Warner Brothers game, and they think they have these devs and these resources that's at the palm of at the palm of their hands. Is like, yeah, this is it. They're gonna be constantly on it, top of it. Da 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 da. It's gonna go amazing. When in reality, it wasn't because it was an indie team and not a lot of people even knew about that. So now let's get into the middle of multiverses, which is the issues. So, like I said, the first one, servers. We all saw those servers. I'm going to be posting clips right now, as you can see. These servers are just not it. Just not it. Two, people are just randomly exploding. I don't even know if this is a server thing. This might just be a bug thing or because of the server is a bug thing. I don't even know what's going on, but people are literally just exploding and dying in the first week of the game. Three, these characters are buggy. <laughs> Again, we thought this game was gonna be immaculate, perfect, profito, we saw how it was, we thought it was gonna be Gucci. And three major things already hit the game. And then you're probably thinking, well, Warner Brother, even though this is not a Warner Brother game, 
they would have to see all the success this game is bringing off rip like they would have to be throwing devs and money at them so as you think and i don't think they didn't want to not do it but i think the reason why they didn't do it is because they had their hands full yeah they had a whole lawsuit going on against them and possibly other lawsuits and just other things they had to also worry about versus this little game to them you know like they're what multi-billion company so like they have all these movies tv shows all this stuff characters etc and in multiverse is just like this little thing that don't get me wrong in popularity definitely skyrocketed but to them is just a small little project that they just gave it a chance you know so now enjoy this corny cringe stupid funny little skit that i've come up with of probably what had happened between the conversations or the communication between pfg and warner brother yo warner brother this is crazy yo what's up pfg how's that um little project we gave y'all bro the game the idea we gave y'all yo it is blowing out of proportion uh -huh. you thought that was gonna be like you know decent numbers and slowly build up but yo we have two million people in the first month of the game like this is crazy over a hundred to just 100k alone on pc uh -huh. i don't even, i don't want to say the console numbers that might drive you crazy but like um yeah, we're gonna need some more resources and some devs. Oh, wow, um, really? We ran into some issues with the game, and like, we need, you know, more help to sustain all this stuff because the popularity is rapid and needs awesome. going faster and stuff. So, yeah, we gotta get to these problems ASAP right away if we want this to keep sustaining and go even further than, you know, what we expected because this, these nice. numbers are outrageous. Hello? Spectacular. Warner Brothers. Yup. Are you even listening? For Shoto. Your mom got in a car crash. Mm-hmm. Kid went drowning in the pool. Yeah, yeah. I'm listening now. I'm listening. I'm listening. Your wife is cheating on you. Oh, wow. That's outstanding. Great, great, great. Keep keep the work up. Uh-huh. Your girlfriend found about your wife. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Awesome. Great. All right. All right. You take care now. All right? Peace. Okay, I obviously didn't go exactly like that, but you know, that's just how it feels to the players that truly love this game and keep up with this game. And I'm not even trying to blame the bigger company because it's not their fault either, I hope, but pretty much they just have their hands full with bigger projects. I'm not saying Multiverse isn't a big project for them, but compare Multiverse's money revenue to their other stuff, yeah, it's, it's like they got bigger fishes to worry about than that right now. And for those of you guys don't understand that, is pfg has the rights to the characters and stuff that is put into the game but anything else that they want they have to get it from warner brothers so usually how business is it's like a two-way door two-way people of axing back and forth now it's a three-way because it's pfg axing wb and we confirming with whatever resources and characters and stuff that they can do and you know do and then getting the answer to them, then back to PFG and, you know, re repeat, repeat, repeat cycle. So it's a three-point process to anything they want to do. And it's not like, because that's why we haven't seen, like, for example, people that are true to the game, like, that's why Rain Dog has, like, 20 different goddamn skins. He has 20 different skins because that's their character. So they can do what the hell they want, add what the hell they want, versus these other characters, they can't. They have to get permission. Like, oh, can we dress them up like this? Can we do them like this, you know, for ex et cetera. So that is why, like, content-wise like that, took longer than other content wise you know what i mean so now pfg the indie team have to slowly have their resources go a certain way on things and developing because now they're doing you know balance changes because players are going to complain content wise and all that stuff and the content that they prepped up which is the characters and probably other stuff slowly took time and other stuff probably got scrapped it because it wasn't confirmed yet by whoever WB had to talk to to confirm that to confirm that to confirm that whole bunch of stuff all that was going on and pretty much it just in their eyes or into players eyes and everyone else's eyes when they're looking at it it's like what the hell is WB doing when in reality it's a group of them and like they're just all now on the same page right now like PFG is all the way over here like yo we're trying to do this we're trying to do this we're trying to do this WB is like here where they're like uh we need to focus on this we need to focus on this send one person to deal with that issue and then you know the confirming with other things like character wise uh, whatever content they try to add they gotta get that answer and they're probably just you know on their high horses like should we do this i don't know where i'm going with this so pretty much to wrap up the whole middle area of what happened is that the reason the big main big pieces of what multiverse's downfall is one servers like i said you see you see you see it you see what's going on 
Two, bugs, issues, all that stuff. And then three, just WB and PFG just not being on the same page and getting stuff down and getting the resources that PFG needs and whatever the hell they needed to get this game on track as they needed to. And fast forwarding, you know, we saw that slowly they decided to close the game down. Now, players like myself that have been playing the game for a long time, we all agreed that this game should have been um, like closed since I want to say after evil I want to say after evil two month beta that would have been fine for everybody you know go back in development fix up whatever you have to do and etc that would have been amazing but um I think they just went the long route because the initial idea was to have it to open beta until the release date and Tony even said and people don't believe this but Tony even said if there are issues they will shut the game down don't get me wrong they took a long time to figure out hey this game has issues but you know, Tony stayed true to his word and the game had a lot of issues that we all experienced and finally decided to shut the game down. Don't get me wrong, I know a lot of people don't see it as that, you know, open beta because, oh, you know, they had transactions and all this stuff, but yet, every time they load up the game, it popped up, it popped up, it popped up, telling you, open beta, open beta, open beta. Hey guys, thank y'all for coming on this journey etc etc there's gonna be issues with the game because it is an open beta early access thank you for being on our journey and helping us fix this goddamn game but people don't want to see that so the only thing i have to say about the issues with the game is to i guess cut them some slack like i said there's a lot of stuff that they had to deal with as a small team and etc and those are like the main reasons why this game fumbled servers character bugs randomly exploding and I guess the lack of content, I'm on the side where it didn't affect me too much because again, a character every two weeks is crazy. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that the characters that were releasing wasn't the biggest fan favorites, but don't knock it till you try it. Like for example, one of the characters that dropped was Stripe. I never watched the, the, um, um, the Gremlins until recently because of Multiverses. And when I watched it, it was a great movie. And when I played them, I was like, they're not for me. But when Stripe came out, the first thing I played him in the lab, I was like, this character is not for me. But yet, now I'm playing with him, placing in tournaments because he's awesome. I think it's cool. He's a little toy gun. It's a fun. It's amazing. So i cool. So you never know what character you truly enjoy or never knew that you wanted until you actually give it a try versus that. No, I know this character, so I want this character. Give characters tries and you'll be like, holy hell, this character is actually fun. You know, you, you'll find your own ways of enjoying different characters that you didn't expect it or they didn't think you wanted, you know? And now let's go to the ending on, do I think multiverses can make a comeback? And I believe, yes, I think they can make a comeback easily. Just hopefully the progress is done correctly. Um, the reason why I think that is because one, I think we can all agree that this project is something that we all have been craving for for a while. Like I don't usually play fighting games. Fighting games are really not my genre. I'm more of a shooter player myself, but obviously we could all enjoy a little fighting game here and there, you know, Smash, Brawlhalla, you know, Mortal Kombat, you know, you know, it's, it's fun to come in and out of these games here and there. And I felt like we definitely needed something new in the platform feel that felt astonished. Is it, that's not the word? I don't know. I'm sorry. But you know, old school as in like characters that we know and love um, and be able to fight with them. Come on, man. Batman, Harley, Superman, Wonder Woman, even the new school. We got Steven, Garnett, um, Finn, Jake, oh, back to old school, Tom and Jerry, Bugs Bunny, back to new school. I don't know. But you, you get what I mean. Celebrity, LeBron, you know, it's like, it's that good feeling like, oh, this is something refreshing that we needed. And unfortunately, it wasn't executed perfectly the first time. It happens, though, because at least it wasn't the actual release of the game. And again, I know y'all gonna say, yes, it was. Da, 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 da. Guys, it is an open beta. They literally said that. Don't get me wrong. This is a long open beta. I'm gonna agree with y'all with that one. But at the end of the day, it was an open beta. So now the plans for the new game. I'm gonna give y'all the first one is one. This was not supposed to be known yet, but it was leaked because of their job application. They're looking for devs for Real Engine 5, Unreal Engine 5. So one, they're already upgrading to another engine for this game. So one, the game's gonna be improved right there, right then and there. Two, I'm not sure how people got this information. The internet is a crazy place, but apparently they have over 60 to 70 plus employees now for player first game. And that was announced or found out like a little bit before the game got closed down so imagine what they have now they probably got to 100 maybe even 150 you know got something going on right there number three we have players 
that got into the um into the development team like the cat um chavo ajax these are people that played the game as players and was just normal people playing the game casting the game analysts of the game and now they work with them so the fact that i'm getting not saying even me just on their twitter they're talking about it like yo we're liking how this is going it already gets me happier like because they are players like us they're literally normal people i don't want to say normal people because we're all normal people but you know what i mean they're less like, casual people like us that just wants to enjoy a game so for the fact that they are saying this gives me even more hype of like oh yeah this this is going right where it should be now unfortunately we didn't got no news yet but the only news we got is the game will be releasing the beginning of the year of 2024 and that's amazing and apparently um we should be getting a <laughs> sad to say another small little beta to, for us to see how the game is going um progressing i want to say in a few months i want to say probably two months now maybe in october november december that's what i would assume you know just to see where the game is going so yeah those are the things that has me excited for new years you know a bigger dev team um players like myself going onto the dev team and seeing what's happening and understanding what the game plan is for them them upgrading to a new engine like uh, i just have high hopes for the game you know and again they i felt like i felt like I feel like they did this on purpose. Okay, I don't mean like that. Like, obviously, they don't want the game to fail. But you know what I mean? I meant, like, it was a learning curve for them, you know? I think that's why they made it or let it be known as an open beta and progressed it that long. Like I said, even though we felt like it should have been shorter, maybe they took the time to make it this long to see their trials and error throughout the whole thing. Because like I said, this is their first game. And they are vets at dev, you know, coding and stuff. But this is their first time in fighting game. And fighting game is a whole different genre from what they're used to and they got to get used to you know frame data and all that stuff you know obviously they did the research but obviously not as good as you know you know fighting plays you know how they get with their frame data and stuff they go crazy and stuff. but yeah so i just have high hopes for this game now i know yeah probably final question is is that will it be the biggest game again will it be a huge hit and that has a two-part answer one it's if player first game actually you know deliver like they want to with the content with the game working with the service working the characters working because that's the main thing i just want i just want the characters to work and the game to work <laughs> content can come after i just want the game to work right and then two the players like me and you don't be the bandwagon of like oh is this game gonna pop off again maybe i should give it a try bro it's a free-to-play game when the game drop give it a try see if you like it if you don't like it guess what it is one button to click and delete and if you enjoy the game then play it, enjoy it, have fun. And that's it for the video, guys. Leave a like if you like the video, comment about anything. You know, I love y'all comments. Comment, what are y'all feelings about the game, you know? Tell me your experience with multiverses, and then tell me if you're coming back or if you're not coming back, and you know, why. And if it's your first time ever watching my videos and you do enjoy multiverses content, then hit the subscribe button, baby, because next year, content-wise, on this channel and these three other channels that I'm not gonna say, and then y'all not even gonna know it's mine, and a podcast, and my Twitch stream, it's gonna go crazy next year see you tomorrow see y'all in my next video yeah she got a man she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state moved to LA cause she wanna be famous got a 9 to 5 on the side she a waitress but it's getting tough hard to find